So I'm very, very passionate about testing simply because I've seen what happens when you're working with code that is not well tested. And what I personally like is to use the display container component pattern, first of all. And that means you have pure components that just take in props and render JSX. And then you have container components that contain all the state management. So it could be something like Zustand or Redux or could be just the native state management from React like use state and use effect. And by separating the concerns this way, it's very easy to test your display components because they are just pure functions. So you can just give them some props and make sure they render the right thing. And then the container components, if you want to test them, I would recommend doing that in end-to-end -end tests. Obviously for certain abstractions, you can use React testing library, but the thing is that then you will have diminishing returns because if you test your components also then with React testing library and you then you do end-to-end -end tests again, the end-to-end -end tests will cover stuff that the React testing library tests already cover. And that can sometimes be the correct solution. If you're TDDing something, you might want to size it down, chunk it down. But the most confidence will always be created by end-to-end -end tests. And you need end-to-end -end tests either way. So I would just split it up so that all of the pure logic and you can make the rendering part of the components pure logic by using the display container component pattern. So pure logic, like helper functions, stuff like that, is well unit tested. Display components are well unit tested. And then the rest is just neatly wrapped by your playwright test or Cypress test. So by your end-to-end -end tests. <laughs> 